This is Martha Neovard, and she's a doula with Family First in Regina. Martha, what do you think about the policy change announced by the City of Regina? I think it's a really positive step forward. Um, this fight for breastfeeding in the pool actually has been going on for a really long time. Um, as far back as 2002, the City, or uh, sorry, Breastfeeding Action Committee of Edmonton um, released a report on breastfeeding in public pools. Um, and so the, the city has been a little bit behind in terms of evidence-based information and, and policy and shaping their policy around that. So it's a really positive step forward for mothers in the city. Why do you think Regina has been a little behind other locations? Um, you know, that's hard to say. It could be just that um, they were maybe not up to date or, or up to date on the education around that. The Center for Disease Control actually had a policy statement on this that they released a number of years ago saying that breastfeeding in the public pool poses no risk to mother, infant, or the general public. And so perhaps it just took a little bit of time for the administration to catch up with the current recommendations. What about someone that says they feel that there is a hygienic concern? Tell us about why that's not the case. Well, um, we have a body of evidence that says that um, breast milk in the pool and breastfeeding in the pool, infants spit up in the pool from breastfeeding, are not a hygienic concern. There's no risk of disease transfer. Um, there's no risk of pathogens or bacteria. In fact, breast milk itself is anti-pathogenic. Um, it's antiviral, it's antimicrobial. It, it actually would almost raise <laughs> the scale of, of health in the pool um, to a certain degree. But we know that it, were there any concerns that the chlorine would take care of that. And we have the science and the body of evidence to support that information. We have a society that at times can glorify a woman's breasts, it seems, until it comes to the point where they're being used to feed a child. Why do you think there's that difference in the attitude towards breasts? Well, I think people really forget that the primary um, purpose of the breast is biological. It is designed with the mammary glands there in order to feed the baby. And people think that they, they kind of have this interesting dichotomy where they think that breastfeeding is sexual in some way, which is not at all true. We know that breastfeeding promotes best health for, for mother and for the infant as well. And so um, it's again, sort of a, a cultural thing and we're seeing that cultural shift where people are realizing, you know, it's more important to have a mother breastfeeding her infant than it is to hold this view that uh, breasts are sexual. When, when we see it, it takes the sexual out of it. And for some people, that's disturbing and they're not sure how to handle that. But it's, it's a matter of education and it's a matter of cultural shifting as well. Is there something that's next or something else you see that we should be looking at and taking on as far as sort of climbing some of these mountains to change and educate about breastfeeding? Yeah, I really think um, we need to focus a lot on prenatal education. We also really need to look at public education. Whether the baby is breastfed or whether the mother's showing breasts, it's not an issue of modesty or of discretion. This is an issue of public health. When we prevent mothers from breastfeeding their babies by putting barriers in the way, we prevent the health system from moving forward. We actually cost the healthcare system substantial amount of taxpayer dollars. So we really need to turn the focus from, is this okay or is this not okay? For 40 years, it's been legal. It's going to continue to be legal. We need to move out of that rhetoric and move into, how is this affecting my bottom line? How is this affecting the bottom line of the province's healthcare system? And how is putting these barriers in mother's way uh, affecting maternal mental health, isolation, and how is it affecting the babies? Thanks for your time today, Martha. Thank you.